In this video, we will take a look at the business relevance of elasticity estimates, including price elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand, and income elasticity of demand. By the end of the video, you should be more comfortable with each of the elasticities and their applications to business. Information is collected in a variety of ways. It is not just limited to the following methods. Customer surveys serve as feedback from your customers and can provide guidance for business decisions. However, it is important to note that surveys can contain elements of bias. Past records are also helpful in that they assist in identifying what has happened previously in a company. Again, relying on past information can be risky and should be employed alongside other data when making informed decisions. Finally, competitor analysis can direct business strategy in competitive environments. Monitoring the actions of competition will be important for success. PED estimates are helpful to determine whether or not changes in price will increase or decrease total revenue. Businesses can use this information to maximize their revenues. It is important to note that just because revenue is rising, it does not mean that profit is rising. So when you do refer to increases or decreases or changes in price and the resulting impact on total revenue, do not automatically assume that profit is changing in the same direction. You've seen in an earlier video that changes in price result in changes in total revenue. The change in revenue will depend on the elasticity of demand for that product at that point in time. Income elasticity of demand tells us whether a product is inferior, normal, or luxury. This will be helpful to companies alongside information about real incomes and the performance of the economy. It can also help a business identify which income range they should be targeting. If you sell a luxury good, then your most responsive customers by change in income will be higher income earners. How you define that may be unique to your business. Also, how will changes in the economy affect your business? Being informed about YED will surely prove beneficial in this analysis. Cross elasticity of demand helps firms determine whether their product is a complement or substitute good to another good. It also indicates the strength of the relationship. Knowledge of the strength and type of relationship will be helpful in competitive markets as well as complementary markets. However, as mentioned before, all of these es estimates, whether income elasticity, cross elasticity, or price elasticity, are not always going to be precise. The value is dependent upon the data they were formed from. In addition, forecasting for the near term can be more accurate and a little bit easier than longer term forecast, where many factors may change both internally and externally. In closing, be able to discuss the value of these estimates to a business in the context you are being asked to. However, do not take the data at face value and be sure to evaluate the data's usefulness in each unique situation.